And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And yes, here we are again another day committed to being your consumer advocate, all about helping you understand your buying decisions, making you more street smart here, consumer quarterback show. And we want to help you win in any marketplace, as we say right here on the program. Saver Hotline, 813-750-0550. Call or text the hotline, 813-750-0550. ConsumerQB.com. Got a great lineup for you here today. we got our all-star team uh, in place. Later in the show, we're going to hear from Captain Will Smith, Will Smith Aviation. Also, a movie that we're producing as well, Falling from the Sky. But he wanted to talk about what are the strikes really about. We're hearing about some of these strikes in the airline industry. He's going to peel back the onion there and tell you what they're actually about. And here's a hint. It's not about wages and tr- traditional things. Uh, we got Doug Levi as well. Hurricane season in place. Doug Levi, strategic insurance. Uh, he is a wealth of information for all things insurance here in Tampa Bay. Helped a lot of our listeners, uh, folks that reach out to the hotline, as well as Diane Vance. She's always helping folks out as well, getting pre-qualifications in place. Uh, top lender in the country. I think she said last time, top three lender in the country. And she's going to talk a little bit about what's happening with the current market, the current market right now, what's happening there. And also, we're going to dive into the TARP program and kind of how government gets involved. And sometimes it just creates more of a problem. So we've got a great lineup for you here. I want to talk about the golf cart depot as well. Discovery Golf Cars right here in Tampa Bay. I really enjoy almost every day. I'm on my golf cart cruising around, checking out the neighborhood. Uh, taking the dogs for a cruise, Charlie and Carter, they love cruising with me on the golf cart. Uh, but it's so much fun. And, and Golf Cart Depot, a.k.a. Discovery Golf Cars, they're right here in Tampa, Clearwater locations. Uh, they offer financing and mobile repair. DiscoveryGolfCars.com is the website, new and pre-owned. You can rent or buy. DiscoveryGolfCars.com. And make sure you let them know uh, the real estate quarterback sent you. Uh, before we start jumping into this, I want to kick off just a motivational minute here. A story that kind of came to mind. I, I did a uh, an event out in Dallas this week. I went to a kind of a uh, mastermind, marketing mastermind group. And it reminded me of a story because... You know, when you when you look at our history as as we evolve through this thing called life, right? And, and you're you're in your adolescent years, you go into your teenager years, your uh, you know the athlete stage, and then you get into business, and then you know the later part of your life is statesmanship as they break down the different archetypes. It reminded me of a story. I had an uncle. His name was Larry. So Uncle Larry, self-employed. A lot of my uh, family, all my family, really was self-employed. Furniture stores, real estate companies, game rooms, health food stores, and uh, Uncle Larry, uh, he gave me a Jim Rohn CD and the Jim Rohn CD was personal development you know he said Brandon this right here will change your life I remember he like like it was yesterday he gave me that CD and me being the I don't know 15 16 year old kid oh yeah yeah I'll listen to it I, you know I may have plugged it in and listened to it for a minute or two but then I went back to my whatever type of music I would listen to right uh, but my point is that uh, you know when when we are willing for the information to flow and we're willing to accept that information that, that comes at different stages in life for people but the more that you can focus on personal development and maybe it's into different areas of your career and your pathway that's going to help you have more success in this life because it's a challenging time right now for a lot of realtors a lot of realtors are saying hey you know we need inventory we don't have inventory okay well go out and create your own inventory or, or go out and get listings door knock whatever you have to do but to do that, you got to have the equipment. You got to understand the game. You got to have the discipline. You know the self-discipline, uh, the ability to make yourself do what you should do, whether you like it or feel like it or not. That's self-discipline. So, so a little motivational minute reminded me of Uncle Larry. It was kind of a funny side story too. Is it was right when the cell phones came out in the cars, and it would hook up to your horn in your vehicle. So he had a truck, and he had a cell phone in the truck. And he would come running out whenever his phone would ring and be in the office. It was so funny because, of course, me and my 
uh, brothers or cousins, we'd all laugh when we'd see him, but he would run out to go get his car to catch the phone. And he had the big set of keys on the side of his of his belt loops, you know, so he had like 30 keys on the side. His keys would go you know, as he's going running to the car. So anyways, shout out to Uncle Larry. He passed away about a year or two ago, but uh, what a great guy. And he's a, he was an entrepreneur and he gave me that Jim Rohn CD and I didn't quite listen to it uh, at the time. But ultimately, uh, those that know me, I got into Tony Robbins development, personal development, uh, I guess when the time was right. So timing is everything in this beautiful life that we are in, this journey that we're on. So there's a little tip for you from our motivational minute from uh, the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, let's jump right into it. So we've got Diane Vance. Let's make our introductions here. Hey, Diane. Hey, Brandon. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you. And yourself? I'm good. I'm actually in the car with a baby, so we may hear some side noise. <laughs> nice. All right. Very cool. All that right. is fun. Yeah. Very good. Fun times. And uh, so, Diane, we're going to talk a little bit about the market, what's happening yep. on your end, and then maybe yep. we'll dive into that uh, tarp clip I've got as well. Yep. Okay. Perfect. We can do that. Doug Levi, give us a little teaser what you're going to talk about, my friend. Brandon Rhymes, always good to be in the house. Yeah, we're going to talk about preparing for hurricane season, practical steps you can do for your family, and then also the impact that the insurance industry is having right now in Florida from some of these hurricanes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are getting hit really hard. I think you had mentioned last yeah. time two billion dollar losses last year uh, yeah. with with the uh, insurance companies. Uh, yep. and, and the flip side of that, guess who made five hundred billion dollars, a half a trillion dollars? Oh, all the tech elites, all the big boys, they made their money last year. The biggest growth that they've ever had, half a trillion dollars. Okay. Uh, and we're talking okay. about the big boys, the the Googles, the online, the tech, the the Zooms, the uh, Gates, those types of people made a lot of money by being locked down. So anyways, that's a rabbit hole I could go down, but we won't do that right now. <laughs> Let me talk to you about just a quick listing here. One of our hot listings that we've got here in Tampa Bay. Uh, this one's at 10222 Meadow Crossing. Uh, beautiful property, large home, and it's up in that new Tampa area. So with the low inventory, I'm surprised this one's still available. It's been on the market about a week, but uh, I think we're probably going to get an offer here soon. 3,500 plus square feet, five bedrooms, four bath, three car garage, and and this property is a large corner lot, brand new roof, theater room and gym, smart home technology, solar panels. So a lot of your solar, your energy is paid for and security cameras and the solar panels are already owned outright. They don't have to be paid off. Uh, screen balcony in the line. Great opportunity right here in Tampa Bay. And you can see all of our listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com. This is God's country. All right, Diane, let's go to you first. I want to get an update, kind of a feel for you, because you, you're talking to a lot of different folks out there. You've got, I think, about 30 or 40 people on your team, and you're with one of the largest uh, lending uh, organizations, uh, a direct lender uh, in the country, that is, with a Fairway Independent Mortgage. So tell us, what are you seeing on your side, and, and what kind of concerns are you hearing from your clientele? Well, we're seeing that um, the uh, we've noticed that, uh, I don't know if you saw in the Tampa Bay Journal, where some of the housing is changing a little bit. Um, uh, it was a, it was the other day the business journal um, some of the some of the, there's actually there is some more houses coming on the market so the, for those people that have been waiting it's time and um, and so that's that's uh, that's what we're seeing a lot of because uh, a lot of people kind of got exhausted about looking but yeah. I think it's starting to uh, it's starting not normalize a little bit not quite yet it's still a seller's market and you know, buyers still you know, have to, you know, they, they, they are up against other buyers, but, um, we're seeing a lot of first time home buyers that because the rents, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've been listening to the news, but they're talking about how much rent has been ra- has raising and same thing that's happening in the market, that same thing happening in the market is, uh, what's happening, you know, for the real estate is happening in the rents where people are, are renting and they're overpaying what the rents are. So, yes. Big so time. people are, you know, they need to think about that. You know, you're going to end up having to pay more on rent than you would normally because there's so many people wanting to rent right now. So, yep. um, but as far as the market goes, you know, the, they are going to vote to start to ease up on the, the quantitative easing and buying mortgage-backed securities. That is going to happen uh, because the economy is doing better. Um, so that's going to happen very soon. So, it, you know, interest rates are very stable. They're still low. Um, but, you know, they're not going to stay there forever. So I had somebody the other day tell me they wanted to save more money. I'm like, by the time you save more money, the interest rates will be higher so you can buy less. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so <laughs> they, had, they, had, they had plenty of money, but it was just, you know, they just wanted to have, you know, they just 
want to have more down. I'm like, you know, it takes a long time to save money. So there's a lot of special programs out there, 3% down, 3.5% down, veteran loans, zero down. So there's a lot of those. So, you know, the market is good still. So everybody, you know, we've had back to school this week. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of that going on. But, uh, you know, people are, are, you know, start just plan to, you know, just start to get, do something with, um, with the, uh, you know, with purchasing and start somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. And, and one of my friends spoke at a uh, commercial uh, realtor type uh, convention or, or whatever here locally in Pinellas County. And I printed out some of his notes from it and it talked about the scarcity of housing and, and that the, it was a contractor's closers connection event. So uh, it says, why is the median home price up 20 percent and the rental rates growing faster than any other metro market through the first six months of 2021? up 15.6 percent so that's your point earlier about the rents going up the rental rates are up 15.6 percent that's faster than any other metro market oh yeah and here's what it so it talks about tampa bay doesn't have enough inventory and population migration here is tremendous again we talked about that blue states to red states south north to south the traditional the sunny uh the football the you know all the cool things we have here of course fine dining and all that beaches uh but it's practices like those mentioned bus also max what's happening also is they're not maximizing the allowable density under the land use so when they're getting these zoning uh these projects approved they he's saying they should be maximizing the allowable density of the land use that's because that's suppressing inventory and it's inflating prices and worse part of it is that once those buildings are built and those projects are built we can't get that density back does that yeah, make sense? That's, uh, yeah, it absolutely makes sense, and that's exactly what's happening right now. So it's it's uh, you know if you're renting, it's time to think about buying. Absolutely, yep. Get in, get off the fence into the game because you know the the rental side is going to be challenging. Now I've got friends that just moved from out of state, and they're like, hey, we're just doing a six month thing, kind of get a feel for the place, see where we want to be, which side of town, which area. I understand that, but if you're if your long term play is, oh, I'm just going to rent, I don't want to own an asset, I don't want to deal with the home ownership. I, unfortunately, I think you're getting bad advice from whoever you're talking to. And, you know, there is a lot of commission breath out there, and that's why we started this show, to help you kind of organize your thoughts and think about things that layer deeper. I actually talked to a lady this morning, uh, prospective uh, listing client. Uh, she said she had talked to a local uh, – she had problems with her spine. She had suppression in her spine. And the doctor, the first doctor she went to, oh, yeah, we, we've got to get you into surgery right away. Yeah, I mean, if you fall, you could paralyze yourself. This, I mean, this compression is really bad. <laughs> then she goes to another doctor. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I do see there's some compression there, but we could do this type of therapy. We could do this kind of therapy. And then she actually went to a third doctor. But you see, that first doctor, he's out there in other forms. He's been reincarnated from a previous life as a mortgage broker or a real estate agent or a you insert the job profession. There's people like that in every profession. And, you, and those people that rush you into surgery or they rush you into a certain type of scenario, those are the people you have to look out for because they're in it for themselves. They're in it for commission, commission, commission. And it's not necessarily putting the client first, Diane. Do you see that out there as well in your industry? Well, yeah, I always tell my loan officers that when you that you always want to think about helping others, not about the money that you make, but helping others, then you'll be a success no matter what. Because it, when you're you're in the mode of helping, not worrying about what, how much dollars you're making, then that's when the success comes. Right on. Absolutely. At Keller Williams, we call it win-win or no deal. It's got to be a yep. win-win or no deal. Exactly. So let's take exactly. a quick break here. When we come back, more with Diane Vance, Fairway Independent Mortgage, local lender, support the local economy right here in Tampa Bay. And I want to thank all that do. We've been had an uptick in calls lately, people listing their properties, getting pre-approved, finding out how they can improve their financial position, reaching out for the insurance checkup, uh, get that review from Doug Levi as well, strategic insurance coming up right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Make sure you check out ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. 
My friends, when choosing a listing agent to sell your home, their track record is critically important. Dennis Prager here for Brandon and Lindsay Rimes, owners of Platinum MVP Team at Keller Williams Real Estate. They're consistently rated by the MLS in the top 1% of all Tampa Bay realtors, and that's a big deal. Brandon and Lindsay are always among the top realtors in the state. Call them today at 813-750-0550. Find them at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. Selling commercial or residential property? Don't leave money on the table. List with the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. I'm Brandon Rimes. Reach me at 813-670-7372 or PlatinumMVPTeam.com. My name is James DeJerome, and I produce the Consumer Quarterback Show for Brandon Rimes. The Consumer Quarterback Show is a team, a group of like-minded professionals who partner together to provide our audience sound advice, knowledge, and information to make them wiser consumers. We work with all types of business owners and aggressively promote our local economy. We're currently conducting interviews for our expert contributors. If you own a business or know someone who would benefit from the exposure our show provides, please contact us at 813-750-0550 or online at ConsumerQB.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, we're back here in studio. Brandon Rimes, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. We'd love to help you win in any marketplace. Quick shout out to Veteran Gutters, Brandon Porter and his team. If you're looking to add gutters to your property, reach out to Brandon with Veteran Gutters. He served this country. He is a veteran and his property. Product is American made. Veteran Gutters, longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, we got a hot listing here in Tampa Bay. This one is 1200 Gulf Boulevard, number 1805. Beautiful property. This is $2.67 million property, penthouse suite at the Meridian on Sand Key, Clearwater Beach, number one beach in the world. 1200 Gulf Boulevard, number 1805. This property has almost 4,000 square feet, three bedroom suites. You've got an office as well, Gulf side balconies, as well as intercoastal waterway views from the other terrace and balcony. Great opportunity, resort style living here in Tampa Bay. You can see all of our listings at Platinum MVP Team dot kw.com all right all right back here in studio we got diane vance on the program today as well fairway independent mortgage and i want to bring doug levi in for uh some more insights into the insurance space uh doug what are you seeing out there i know we've got hurricanes in the box from time to time here and there and then you also have situations uh with the insurance companies getting devastated last year two billion dollars in losses yeah so, and uh, I hate to say this, but another one bites the dust. So Gulfstream Property Insurance has grabbed some headlines lately. They just went into receivership and officially into bankruptcy uh, at the last week. So um, that's end of July, you know, time frame. So if you're a Gulfstream Property uh, client, you really need to, to be on top of that. So there are about 65,000 policies in the state of Florida that are going to be affected by that. And basically what happens at that point, Brandon, and and the good news in a way is the state of Florida steps in to basically handle that situation uh, and pending claims. They'll even handle pending claims, but it's certainly not a fun spot to be. So my heart would go out to, you know, people that maybe have a pending claim with Gulfstream because now you're, you're not only dealing with the complexity of insurance, but now this transition to the state of Florida. And they've got about sixty-five million dollars worth of open claims right now. So wow! So yeah, just, just policies. That's a, yeah, that's a so lot. Lot, 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 lot of policyholders affected. They were they were a fairly large company. They were not one we've worked with for what it's worth. They were not one that I personally worked with, but um, they they didn't have a bad reputation. I'll say that they were they were not a bad company. Wow! So you know, it's sad to see. It's a shame. Again, the. Uh, the state of Florida is very, very challenging right now. I've been in the business 18 years. I've said it before. It's the most challenging market I've seen in 18 years as an insurance professional in Florida. And uh, so, you know, on a positive note, what can you do? A, reach out for a review. We do our protection reviews. We offer a $17 Amazon gift card just for the opportunity to look at what you've got now, do a review and analysis, and see if we can put you in a better spot. And if we can't, 
we'll shake hands part ways friend, friends and at least you've got some good advice. So I would definitely recommend people reaching out for the review and making sure they understand who they're with and what they have. And you've got to keep kind of your eyes on, on the news or on great radio programs like this where you're going to get some of that info that, you know, you may just not hear or see or maybe it was, you know, the fifth page of the Tampa Bay Times and you missed it or something. So a uh, lot going on with that. So Let me ask you a question. So, so with a company sure. like that going out of business, and you mentioned the state of Florida steps in. So what, what does that look like? Is it somewhat like a, a receivership uh, type scenario? Um, it is. So they, they were officially, and again, I'm, gonna, I'm, it's, I'm looking at an article right here, as a matter of fact. They went into receivership um, in, at the end of July. And basically, at that point, the supervision of the company gets taken over by the state of Florida, and then after receivership comes liquidation. Mm. And that's what literally just happened uh, within the last week or 10 days. And so at that point, the state of Florida will try and liquidate any assets they can, to try and recoup any, any funds. And, you know, the policyholders are, are basically sent notices knowing, you know, as of a certain date, they're going to have no coverage at all. So for yeah. the people that have Gulfstream right now, it would definitely be imperative to find another company before you lose your coverage altogether. And, oh, by the way, we're right in the middle of hurricane season. You know, not the best time to to have to look for new insurance necessarily. So we still have plenty of options out there. We work with over 18 companies, Brandon. Um, And our goal is always to find best coverage and best rates. And we understand how expensive and how challenging the market is. And we try and use every tool and technique and discount that we can find to make sure people are getting proper protection but not – overpaying yeah absolutely we get lots of great feedback by the way from doug and, and diane you know all of our expert contributors really uh 813-750-0550 you can call or text that line it's a hotline and you could text uh review or insurance or mortgage credit you know whatever you're looking for just text to that number 813-750-0550 and when these when these types of scenarios play out we hear it we've heard it happen with solar companies uh pool companies just there was a big one i think it was olympus maybe that went out uh, of business and left some customers hanging uh with the pandemic there was a lot of examples of that you also had i think it was like la fitness that had to uh ba- file bankruptcy or reorganize and i think esporta may have been the name that came in uh and just kind of bought up those assets and, and essentially what it's doing is you're resetting everything you're resetting the debt you're resetting the the assets and, and somebody else is buying it at a lower cost basis so that that's what you see happen uh with these trends and these types of uh, scenarios that play out but a lot of times it's government causing the problem uh, back in 08 you had the financial crisis the, the troubled asset relief program and then it went into you know Fannie Mae uh, Freddie Mac coming in and, and you know essentially what what the point was with the clip that we were talking about playing is that you you have government come in and they say yes we're going to have a war on drugs remember the war on drugs whatever happened with that did we did we eradicate all the drugs in America I don't think so last I heard there was opioid crisis lots of pills still flowing around fentanyl coming in through the southern border so the war on drugs the government said they were going to take care of that did they no uh war on poverty did we get uh, the poverty situation taken care of in america the politicians talking about war on poverty ha- have we eradicated poverty in, in the united states last i checked no you know so the time when government gets too involved and they get too many feelers out there it, it's not a good thing so big government's bad small government's better and unfortunately right now we're going in the wrong direction uh, i want to go back to diane diane on the mortgage side uh, are you seeing insurance challenges right now? Anything uh, popping up as from what Doug was mentioning? Oh, we are. Well, Doug, I guess uh, replacement cost calculators, you all are not allowed to send that to us anymore, um, is what is my, is my what I'm hearing. Is that the case? Yeah, that, that, that yeah. was something that, that passed in this last legislative session. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, so what happens is, uh, of course, then what we do is get there's 100% replacement and things like that. Um, but, yeah, so it, it's, it's all over the place as far as premiums and coverage and things like that that are, you know, make a big difference on a cut. So, yeah, it's, uh, it, we've, we've seen a lot of, uh, you know, customers thinking that their premiums are going to be a certain amount. They come in a lot higher, so we've got to refigure everything and things like that. But, uh, or the opposite sometimes. 
All right, we're going to take a quick break here. Brandon Rimes, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP team. Support the local economy. We greatly appreciate that. Follow us online. We would love to connect with you online at Brandon Rimes, one on Instagram and Twitter. Consumer Quarterback Show page out there. By the way, we've got a great podcast on iTunes. Check out our podcast. And our YouTube channel has over 1,200 videos on YouTube as well. We'll be right back here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is Chris Voss, former FBI lead hostage negotiator and owner of the Black Swan Group. And you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rice. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Just talk to Will. Yeah, hey, Will. Yes. All right, we got you on there. Do we still have Doug and um, Diane? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here, too. Okay, good. All right, so we will... um, So hang on. Before you get started, just so that you know, I'm kind of uh, over... over, um, uh, here on the on the phone banks, I've got uh, Captain Will and Diane on the same party line. Doug is by himself, so do I need to switch that around somehow? I I can go ahead and um, and um, hang up since I have the baby in the car anyway. So if that's good for you all, that, that helps. Prepare to turn left. Is that necessary or? or- well, I guess, yeah, Let's we can let you go, Diane. I, I mean, I All understand. Right. Yeah, because we, okay. we've got Doug still to help fill the okay. show. And then, okay, All perfect. Right. Thank okay. you. All right, thank you. I, ne- right. I, never have a, I never have a problem talking, Brandon. So if you see me more <laughs> okay. talking, I'm, I, I can hang with you a little You're longer okay, today. You're okay, right, Doug? All right. All right. Thank yeah. you. Bye-bye. Good, good, good. Uh. All right, so now I've got just Will, Captain Will, and Doug on both lines. So we're good now. Okay. The only problem is that if I if I bring her up with Captain Will parked on there at the same time, you know, it'll be just like a party line conversation. Okay, cool. And there's and a new Dennis keep Prager spot just on hold. Also for uh, next whatever. time, we, I emailed I think we you solved about it. I emailed you about it, but there's a new Dennis Prager spot that was cut last week for us. Jose. Yeah. There's a new Dennis Prager spot cut. So we just need to replace that other one that you just played with the new one. Dennis Prager spot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You, there's another one somewhere. Yeah, there's a new one that just got cut. So. Okay. All right, let's get going. Five, four, three, two, one. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back here. Brandon Rhymes, Consumer Quarterback Show. We'd love to help you win in any marketplace, and we would ask you to please follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram and Twitter. And also, you can pick us up on your smart televisions at your home uh, by searching Binge Networks. That's the network that we're on, Binge Networks, on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Roku. Of course, we stream live as well on YouTube and Facebook, and we share a lot of content as well. So uh, we would love to connect with you online, and uh, please support our show partners. We greatly appreciate you supporting and our show partners here. Uh, Bill Maher Beach Resort is the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show on Treasure Island. Uh, say hello to Clyde and his wonderful staff. They do a great job over there. And they've got two pools on site, Sloppy Joe's Beach Bar and Restaurant, and just a huge beach. Uh, Clyde Smith, uh, the general manager over there, says book directly with him. Let him know you're the Consumer Quarterback Show uh, fan, and he's going to take care of you on that as well. Bill Maher Beach Resort. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right, a couple of hot listings here. We've got some properties here available in Tampa Bay, some great opportunities uh, in prime locations, of course, uh, right here in Tampa Bay. Uh, 
Great opportunities for vacant land. I've got a lot of vacant land available here. Five acres out in East Hillsborough County, South Tampa lots, uh, properties across the, the area here. But we do have a property in Largo that's listed as well, 909 15th Avenue Southwest. Uh, this is in Largo wonderful small town right here in pinellas county largo a beautiful property and this one's 1300 square feet uh, located in the heart of largo 17 solar panels smart technology and a thermostat i got backyard sheds new roof and 80 gallon solar power water heater so that's pretty cool so your power is generating from the solar on your roof great opportunities here in tampa bay how about 202 west shore boulevard this is a property that we've got it's a vacant lot right here in south tampa uh in the area for the plant district plant high school district coleman as well and it is great opportunity to build your dream home beach park is one of the most highly sought after areas in all of tampa bay you can see all of our listings at platinum mvp team dot kw dot com all right let's welcome in captain will smith will smith aviation welcome to the show sir Hey, Brandon. How are you doing today? Excellent, man. Excellent, buddy. So we, we kind of teased earlier about the strikes. You know, there's strikes happening. I had a flight to Dallas last week. Got a last minute, like the day before, Spirit says, oh, we're canceling your flight. I'm like, great. Now let me scramble and, and buy this higher price last minute ticket. Uh, what was what are these strikes going on? What's, what's, you got, I know you keep your ear to the ground. What's happening with these strikes? Well, it's, it's a lot more than the people are led to believe. Um, so you really can't listen to what the airlines are telling you because they want to keep a customer base. Right. So what's really happening with some friends of mine, captains that fly to the airlines, the problem they're having right now, <clears throat> number one, is during the COVID, a lot of the guys were forced into mandatory retirement or took early retirement. So now you have a lot of people traveling again, and there's not enough pilots. So instead of saying, hey, we don't have pilots available for the trip that you paid for, um, they're using excuses like, oh, it's weather, or it's maintenance, or a crew. Um, the, the crews are flying so much, they, they do 14-hour duty days where they need at least 24 hours rest after that. And they can only fly, um, the pilots can only fly 100 hours per month, 1,000 hours per year. Well, these guys are hitting those numbers now. So when they're hitting those numbers, they're, they turn into a pumpkin, and they can't fly anymore until the end of the month. So when you have that problem, compound it with not having enough pilots, they're canceling flights. Um, to make to add insult to injury, they were forcing their pilots to take the uh, the vaccine. Well, some of these pilots didn't want to because of the adverse effects that it has on people at high altitude, how it's it, it, a pilot sitting in one position for a long period of time. We already know that this thing can cause blood clots. Right. Just sitting in, the, in, the, in a seat for a long period of time can cause blood clots. Now you're adding something that can do it. Um, one of my friends, who was a captain <clears throat> on one of the airlines, he had never had high blood pressure issues until he took the shot. Now he has high blood pressure issues, and he went to his AME. Now they're doing, they have to do testing before they even let him fly. Wow. Um, there's flight attendants that, uh, you know, they stand the entire time. They're starting to get dizzy. They're starting to have side effects. You know, being at a, at a cabin uh, altitude of between six and 9,000 feet, depending on how, how high the aircraft is, this, you know, that things act differently to the body at altitude than it does at uh, ground zero or at sea level. Right. So they're having all these issues between not having enough pilots, um, the vaccination, um, the side effects of the vaccination, the pilots timing out because they, you know, they, they've hit their duty time. Uh, so it's creating this huge problem. Now, the vaccination was so big that yesterday, Delta, American, and Southwest changed their position on having their crew vaccinated because so many of them said, no, I don't want to do that. That's my choice. I don't want to take the vaccination. I'll take the risk over the vaccination. Well, they were, you know, since the airlines were forcing them to do that, then they didn't show up for work. And this is where you hear about them going on strike um, because of all this. Not to mention the flight attendants are getting really tired of this younger generation, this entitlement generation getting on airplanes and acting a fool. Yeah. Getting drunk and acting like morons. Yeah. In an aircraft at 38,000 feet moving at 600 miles an hour, that is not the time to get drunk and show your t your butt to people. 
Yeah, you're getting, you might get duct taped to a seat, right? You might, remember yeah, that? You remember what I posted on my seat. social? I, no, that, that was like out in the, <laughs> you, you saw that all over social media. But the kid, you know, you can tell he was just an entitled little jerk. And he was, oh, it, he even said something to the effect that my parents are worth $2 million or whatever he was saying. Just ridiculous. But yeah, he, they, they uh, held him down and actually duct taped the guy to the seat. Yeah. As the crowd yep. cheered. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly. pretty crazy. Well, I think I think the flight attendant should carry tasers, to be quite honest with you. So if somebody gets ruly, you just tase them. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And knock them out. Yeah, exactly. We're talking with Captain Will Smith here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Will Smith Aviation. Uh, we also have Doug Levi along for the ride here, Strategic Insurance. Doug, you ever insure any, any big private jets, anything like that? Is he still with us? He may not be with us, but, yeah, that, that would be interesting. You know, is that – How's that work? So, Captain Will Smith back here on the program. So, what else are you seeing, man? I you know this this whole the vaccine, the mask, the mandates that that's another big issue for people. You know, where you look well, at you know the, do, do they mandate it? Of course, we don't want to be told what to do. And then you know, if you actually look at the death rates of this this virus and the contraction rate and the death rate, it's still point zero zero whatever, right? Divide the numbers, it's still right. a ridiculously low number, and. Um, yeah. So, anyways, what's happening in the air, the aviation side? Um, well, right now, more and more people are going to private aviation um, for good reason. They're tired of getting stuck at airports. They're tired of the flights being canceled. Um, they're tired of just normal people that want to have a nice, peaceful, quiet flight. They can't do it because of unruly passengers. <clears throat> the flight attendants are at their wits' end. You know, they're they're. You know, I, I took a flight too, and the flight attendants weren't the cheery. Um, you know, people that I don't normally see in an airplane. Um, they are they are they act more like guards than they do flight attendants. You know, so I can see that the the passion and the the love of what they do is not there anymore. So, with that said, a lot of people are finding charter is an alternative. Yeah. Now, is it expensive to charter a plane? Of course, but if you're doing it with eight or nine people, then. Um, it, it's it's affordable. Some charter companies here in Florida, they've started just selling by the seat. <clears throat> so you can buy a book of like 10 trips so you're paying in advance. And so I've seen that going over to the Bahamas. So you just call up that company and say, hey, I want to use one of my trips, my one-way trips. And they're adjusting to the new, um, you know, the new era that we have in travel now. <clears throat> and that is going privately and going on a charter um, to where you don't have to deal with with TSA, you don't have to deal with connecting flights. You don't yeah. have to deal yeah. with you know losing your luggage and all the things that are associated that are just make travel an inconvenience. Um, so we really see it picked up here. I'm staying busy. Um, I'm at the airport right now, getting ready to fly to Georgia. Yesterday I was in West Virginia, so they've got me up and down the entire East Coast uh, because it's you know it's it's it is what it is in today's world um, with 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 aviation. It's changing. Um, I believe that in the future, we're probably going to see less and less of commercial um, and more and more private. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's one of those factors that uh, enough is enough after a while, you know? Yeah, so let's. I want to talk to you about the movie as well because there's some, there's some developments happening there. Falling from the sky, the movie. Um, Captain Will Smith on the program, author Ditches to Riches, as well as Falling from the Sky is his uh, two books. Doing a lot of public speaking, work, working with the prison system as well, uh, trying to reduce the uh, recidivism rate as well. So some pretty cool stuff coming up with Captain Will Smith. We're going to take a quick break. Plus, we have our feel-good story of the day coming up. Uh, Atlanta sisters raised thousands to gift refugee children with school supplies feel pretty cool uh, feel good story on our feel good segment coming up right here on the flip side of the break consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com hey i'm ken shamrock and you're here with consumer quarterback show and i say brandon ron knock out your competition to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com This is Diane Vance with Fairway Independent Mortgage, a member of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Please give me a call for any of your mortgage needs. We do all sorts of loans. If you would like information on a mortgage, you can text me or call me at 727-647-8199. I will take care of all your mortgage needs. Go to my website, 
at dianevance.com. Ian Beckles here with my man, Brandon Rimes, a.k.a. the Real Estate Quarterback. Brandon, what's happening with the market? Thanks, Ian. We are in a low inventory market, so any of our listeners are homeowners and would like a free comparable market analysis or a 2.5% listing, we will honor this for the first three listeners who call or text in 813-773-1253, free CMA, and a 2.5% real estate listing at 813-773-1253. Check out ConsumerQB.com. Selling commercial or residential property? Don't leave money on the table. List with the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. I'm Brandon Rimes. Reach me at 813-670-7372 or PlatinumMVPTeam.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, here we go. Consumer Quarterback Show. Every day we tell you something positive here in our feel-good story of the day, injecting some positivity into your life. Tell me something good. All right, so two sisters have made it their mission to help local refugee families who are unable to afford backpacks and school supplies as students begin the new school year. Lily Babcock, 17 years old, uh, recently worked in a summer camp with refugee children. And she says, quote, I've always loved going back to school. It's really helped me love learning, end quote. Uh, She also says, I realize that if we could set up some school supplies for these children, that it could help them and have the same love for learning and happiness that I've experienced. So she and her 14-year-old sister, Evie, baked and campaigned. Uh, to raise enough money to, to, to for a few backpacks, and they raised over four thousand dollars. So that's pretty cool. Two hundred forty stuffed backpacks, really exciting, and they were distributed to uh, the Atlanta area children and refugees. And some booked, some are victims of health crisis or natural disasters. And the last thing you want a parent is scrambling to get a book bag and paper and supplies. So there's our feel good story of the day. I love those segments on the program here. And also let's let you know about a couple of our hot listings that we've got here uh, in beautiful Tampa Bay, 117 14th Avenue. This is in Bel Air, beautiful property, million dollar property, double lot, uh, beautiful property here. It's got a pool in the back as well on a double lot. It's got a nice wine cabinet as well. Holds like 400 something bottles, temperature controlled wine closet, four bedrooms, three bath, 2,800 square feet, private pool, gourmet kitchen, jetted air bathtub. Too many upgrades to list, but the closest, the best thing is that it's close to the beach. You walk to the end of the road and you're at the sugar sand beaches of the Gulf of Mexico right here in beautiful Tampa Bay. And you can see all of our listings at Platinum MVP Team dot kw dot com all right we're on the phone here with captain will smith will smith aviation also uh, author he's written two books and one of the books we are turning into a movie what's the latest on the movie falling from the sky captain well we uh, had a great conversation with david yates and he's editing the treatment we started a new treatment and uh it's got a really exciting twist on it and i can't wait uh for you to be able to read it which should be done this week um so when that's done we then move on to the part where we start writing the script um and what's exciting is just having david on board and you know being able to utilize his connections and the people that that he knows he's going to help us with this and he heard the story um on social media and reached out to eli and eli reached out to me he goes yeah this guy wants to meet you which i thought was awesome and we had that meeting with him so um from there it's just been um, you know, gaining more momentum getting more recognition um i've been you know speaking about it we're we put together that whole portfolio packet uh for our investors so we Greg, actually um you and i both received an email on a potential uh angel investor so that was exciting and um the more this thing gains momentum, the more traction it gets, um, the more exciting it is. Just watching it blossom from nothing. You know, I never thought that, number one, I'd write a book. And number two, that the book would have the potential to become a, an actual movie. And so it's, uh, it's a very, very exciting to watch. It's kind of like watching your child grow and, you know, become successful. 
Yeah, so so most people don't have a story like you do. I mean, it's a very interesting story. It's a captivating story, and, and you always say when people you give them the book, it's like, man, it's a page turner. I couldn't put it down. So the, when you look at the story, uh, give us a, a kind of a quick synopsis of, of what happened, how it happened, and then the redemption side, which is I think the just the icing on the cake. Well, it was uh, it was based up in North Carolina. I got in front of a very crooked liberal judge. Um, who she just just had it out for everybody. Um, she did not give me due process. She did not afford me my constitutional rights. She charged mischarged the jury on law being uh, implied instead of inferred, which is ridiculous. Um, and I ultimately wound up in prison for 26 months. Well, with inside the prison, I had to fight with inside a, a prison cell um, to have my conviction overturned and have my freedom, <clears throat> which I did with the help of my advocates. Um, The ultimate uh, price that she paid, she was forced uh, to um, leave her position. Uh, She was told by the governor uh, of the state of North Carolina at the time that she no longer could run as an elected official nor practice law in that state. And uh, ultimately, I was vindicated. I left. I came down to Florida, and I started from nothing. I was living on a friend's couch, and that's where the second book, Ditches to Riches, happened. Um, So I took that experience, put it on paper, because I noticed a lot of things when I was um, released from prison that people look at you, you're kind of like wearing a scarlet letter, and they don't want to be around you. They don't want to associate with you. And even if you're innocent and you prove your innocence, they still look at you as guilty. And, you know, it's really, really hard to build oneself back up from such, you know, a devastating um, year or two years or three years um, that that someone spends in prison. So it was a point um, that I was able to do that. Now I go around and help other people that are coming out of prison saying, hey, this is a tough road, a road to hoe, but I have a map. I have something that you guys can use when you get out to become successful. Yeah. And because of that, the part Florida Department of Corrections has put my book in the JPay accounts for the inmates to use. I've just finished, I haven't sent you this yet, but I've just finished the workbook that complements the book, Ditches to Riches. So it went from my story that's becoming a movie, that's moving in one direction, to the self-help book that's moving in a totally opposite direction. And it's just, it's amazing how this is just, this this blossomed, and it, it is what it is. Yeah, it's capitalism. It's 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 freedom. It's capitalism in a sense where it's like you you had this horrible thing that happened, and then you come out and you turn it into a positive. You flip a negative to a positive, and you you had a tarnished reputation. So then it's like wow, everything's harder harder to get jobs. So then you had to start with digging ditches. Literally, that's what your book is called, D- Ditches to Riches. And, and then you yep. went from that, and you went out there and you sweated. And that's kind of it reminds me of my story in a sense too. I when I had lost a lot of money, I had a bankrupt business. I came out and I had. To, I had to start from the ground up. I was cutting grass, changing locks, doing doorknob changes, and all that stuff for banks. Sweating out there in the summer heat, you know. And that's and and that's what that's what uh, people that are motivated. That's what winners. That's what lions do. They go out and they they do things that they have to do, whether you feel like it or not. You can't let your feelings get in the way, right? You got bills to pay. You got children to support, etc. So when you have those situations in life, I think this is such a great lesson for people, and especially you know maybe some of the younger generation that's been a little bit spoon fed and handed things over is is like man you know adversity is going to hit you, but it's it's how hard right. you hit back. Right, and when it does hit them, they're not going to know how to handle it, and they're going to fail. You know, anybody can sit back with their hand out. Um, right. that's just pure laziness. But it takes a real person with a spine to get up, go to work, and take care and feed their family. Yeah. Um, so you know that's it's it's and that's just it's that black and white. You you're either a doer or, or you know somebody goes goes and gets it and makes it happen, or you're the type of person who wants to sit back with their hand out and expect someone else to pay your way. Yep. Um, and it's unfortunate, but you know it is what it is. But those people will never go anywhere. You know they're still never go anywhere. They'll never be anything. So it's all how you react to what's happening, your situation. That's what's really going to define you at the end. 
Yeah, because you have a decision to make at that point. You, you're when you're down and out, you have that decision to make. It's either, hey, I'm going to fight against this, or I'm going to roll over and just kind of go with the flow and you know get right. on government funding or whatever it is. So many people are doing these days. It's like the government's handing out free money, and you know the the middle class is suffering. The seniors are suffering. I, I feel horrible for the. The, the, you know the the greatest generation you hear them call the you know the folks that fought in the world wars and they're you know they're in their retirement years and they're being uh, they're not being rewarded in their pension plans or retirement savings because of our cro- uh, crooked system the banking system where you know we're we're telling people oh we'll give you these low rates and we're financing that but what happens is people are putting their money into the stock market because they're like wow I can't put it into a traditional retirement plan because I'm not going to make any money there so they're putting the money in the stock market and that's benefiting the big tech guys and all the big tech companies and yeah. those types of people and you have the financial entertainers on those TV shows saying bye 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 sell 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 you know that kind of stuff so unfortunately right. th- these things have a ripple effect uh, when it comes to you know, the way that um, you know it, it, it affects the everyday person uh, but if you just join the program we're talking with captain will smith will smith aviation and i'm your host brandon rhymes we love to connect with you if you know anybody that would love a benefit from uh captain smith's books or uh, his business uh reach out to 813-750-0550 you can call or text that line and 813-750-0550. Of course, if you're buying, selling, or investing in real estate, we would love to talk to you. We can help you on the real estate side. If you're looking to list a property, we help you get maximum exposure by featuring the listings live on air on our show. We promote our properties in ways that other real estate companies don't. And Captain Will Smith here locally can help you uh, if you're looking to charter private flights. Uh, we used to do a lot of flights. And by the way, last time hurricane season hit pretty hard to hit the Bahamas, uh, you were down there flying trips down to the Bahamas helping people with relief. Yep, uh, yep. So we took, uh, I think, 6,000 pounds of relief down there to the islands. They, the government wanted it to go through Nassau, but we were like, nope, we're giving it to the people. And we literally took it off the plane and put it in the hands of the people, uh, which the way it should be, and not dispersed by the government. Because you know the government is. They're going to take their part and then give the people what's left over. So we circumvented the government and flew right to the island and handed it to the people. Nice. Um, and it made such a great impact because they got what they needed. And then we took orders. We did it more than once. We took orders. Like, what do you need, personally? What right. do you need? And they told us we'd go get it and bring it to them. Wow. That's that's a humanitarian effort. That's how effort. you take care of people. Yep, yeah. And that's how you take care of people. Yep, and that's right. And in the corruption of the governments, you see it in all governments, you know, power yep. by some of these people that are, in, especially these politicians that were never ran a business. They never had to fight for their own money. They were just basically elected. That's what they did. They grew up and they said, hey, how can I get elected? How can I be a community organizer? And unfortunately, that's right. what's wrong with our country right now. All right, Captain yep. Will Smith, we got to let you go. Have a safe flight today, my friend. All right, buddy. All right, take care. All Y'all right. See. Captain Will Smith, Will Smith Aviation. Check him out online, Will Smith Aviation. And stay tuned for more from Falling from the Sky. That's going to be a movie that's going to be really cool. And uh, we've got the producers from The Dolphin Tale uh, on on uh, the, the case now as far as a producer. So real excited about it. A lot of good things happening here around the program. I want to thank Diane Vance, Doug Levi, Captain Will Smith, all of our production team, John, James, uh, Jose, everybody involved with the program. Thanks so much. All of our listeners out there, we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another, be a force for good in the community, and we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show.